So, Coach, the players were saying that you you talked to them after the game and you got a little emotional and that caused them to get emotional. What was it about tonight's game that was so special? Ah, uh, just the way they competed. Um, you know, when you, when you give up six runs, it's sometimes really difficult to to compete the way they did. But I, I was just their response to that deficit. Um, and then I really thought Mariah was a huge factor today coming in and giving us a really good ball game. But yeah, it was just, you know, I, I've been around a lot of games and, and I, I told them that they showed it more grit than uh, anyone I've seen in a long time. And so um, in a big game like that, uh, to be down by six and then end up winning by six, that says a little bit of um, a little bit about them. So and then in that fifth inning, Mariah got into that jam and was able yeah. to work out of it without giving up a run. Uh, what did you see from the dugout and how was she able to do that? Well, I thought the, the play of the game was when she went back to back strikeouts with their what two and three hitters. I thought that was huge because those two kids are there are really good hitters. And um, I thought that was really a turning point for us. And you know, to get out of the, the bases loaded jam. And um, yeah, I mean, Mariah, like I told her tonight, man, you've earned your scholarship. <laughs> you know, she really, uh, really competed well. I, I saw a different look on her face tonight. Um, so that's kind of nice to have going into the, the Super Regionals that she's feeling good about herself. <laughs> Hey, Coach, uh, Jesse just said that after she caught that line drive down the game, she she made it a point to give you the ball because um, she said you deserve the ball. What are your thoughts about that? Well, I, that was pretty special for her. Yeah. And also, you, you touched on this a little earlier. Uh, this weekend, what, what did it do for your team's psyche um, after the way the, you know, the last eight games of the regular season went? Uh, what, are, what are your thoughts about now going to the Super Regional? Well, I th you know, I, if you've ever been through this, it, it's a grind and there's, you know, we, we kind of knew where we're at. And um, I kind of look back at the UCLA series as being really a, a good way to end the year because um, it was a tough opponent. And I figure whoever comes in here, we're going to be prepared for them and be battle tested. And um, so I think, you know, any, any time you can, you can come back from a six run deficit and win a ball game. It, it's got to help your confidence, <laughs> but we're going into Arkansas. It was a, a really good team. Um, good pitching, good defense. They, they swing the bats um, and they draw lots of people. And so I think it's going to be that challenge where we've talked about all year about being able to play well on the road. This is our opportunity. Um, and, uh, the thing about it at this time of the year, there's no tomorrow. So you either figure it out or, or you're done. So I like where we're at right now. And I think tonight was a, a, a really good um, confidence boost for us. And uh, I think the kids right now feel right now that they're invincible. So hope they carry that in. So Malia, uh, the fourth inning is, I know that everyone's going to talk about the fifth inning for a while as the rally, but it really started in the fourth with your home run. I mean, that was a monster bomb to center field. Do you feel after that, since you were able to break the scoring open, that the team had felt hope that even down by six at a time, then four, that you could come back and win this game? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, we had hope from the very first inning. Like, you know, we have such a long game. There's lots of opportunities. So um, no point in getting down when we know that we're going to be able to come back because we're strong. So for me, my mentality and everyone's mentality is to pass the bat. So, you know, Scoop did a great job and got on base. And so for me, I was like, hey, I need to either barrel it up and try to move her or in any way try to move her. So um, really just keeping that momentum and that mentality of passing the bat was huge for us. And as you can see, it really worked out. So. And in that eight run fifth inning, I mean, there was nothing easy about that. So what was it do you feel that all of you were just seeing that just constantly just started the whole rally and the entire order to find such success and not like just like small hits, but everybody really put great contact on a lot of the balls. Definitely. Um, it was the buy in mentality for sure. The entire lineup, our entire team, the dugout was going absolutely crazy. Um, it was having that confidence and knowing that we are capable of doing great things and that we're going to step up in big moments. So 
we know that big players step up in big moments and our entire team bought into the moment and we knew that this was huge for our program. So um, it was just, eh, I'm going to get emotional even thinking about it, but it just shows how relentless we are. Um, and I'm just so proud. So on that home run, can you take me through that bat and what did you see? What, what pitch did you get out? Um, I believe it was her screwball. It was away. And so I was really trying to make adjustments, trying to get my timing down, make sure I'm tracking the ball the way in and seeing a good pitch I can drive. Um, so I knew that I needed to just try to barrel it up as much as possible. And then early on, you guys were failing six to nothing. And like you said, there's a lot of resiliency on this team. So what was uh, the conversation like in the dugout before that inning? It was not to get overwhelmed, to try to keep it loose. Um, have confidence in us and know that we have an entire lineup, an entire team full of great players and not to get overwhelmed. And yeah, just to have that buy-in mentality and know that this is an important game that we can do it. So. so Mariah, after giving up the two runs in the third, from that point on, you were pretty much lights out and got out of the jam in the fifth. Can you talk about your performance today and specifically that fifth inning working out of that jam? Yeah, I mean, just coming into the game, um, just knowing my role, I guess, I've just kind of been whatever coach wants to put me in, whatever situation I'm going to, you know, run, run, run with the opportunity. Um, but in in specific to the um, fifth inning jam, it was just kind of trusting myself and then trusting the defense um, and just allowing it to all fall into place. So, yeah. And then when you have a left fielder like Janelle Mionio making plays out there, how much easier does that make it to pitch? I mean, a lot easier because you allow your defense to work instead of having to feel like it's all on your shoulders. Um, we have a great defense, and that just helps us, us pitchers a lot more. How did it feel for you to have this type of performance on this night when everything's on the line, the place is packed, and it's the last time that you're going to pitch in Rita. I think that these are the moments that we dream about as young athletes, um, and it I couldn't have asked for it to work out better. Um, I've been in these situations before, um, obviously with playing, you know, at, at a, a previous school and then obviously here. So um, I was talking about it to someone. I get more nervous when I'm in the dugout watching the game versus when I'm out there on the mound. Um, it just with the experience, it's it's helped me and guided me to this point. But it was a very special night. Um, and again, like I said, having the fans there, that was that was an extra element for us and took us to the next level because we've been missing that. Um, but it, I'm I'm glad I'm here as an Arizona Wildcat, and I'm glad I got to finish my career at Rita with that. So it was awesome. So Jesse, I know you guys had a senior day, you know, to end the season, but this is officially your last game at Rita. Uh, where will this stack up in terms of games you played here? I honestly think that was one of the most exciting, most emotional, most everything game for me. That was a wild one. I loved every second of it. Um, our team really showed fight and I choose us 100% of the time. Us as a team really came together and we were one tight unit and I loved every second of this game. And then what was going on in the dugout? You guys, you know, get down six, nothing. Mariah, uh, Malia talked about, you know, how the team has a lot of resilience and you battled back. What was that conversation like in the dugout before the comeback? It was more like we have tons of game left. We are good when we stick with each other and we know that we have outs left. Um, just to trust in ourselves, trust in the person in front of you and behind you, and just show fight. Um, the whole day, the moral of the story was don't give up. It's We have outs to give. Um, so we really – I was so proud, so impressed. Um, we're just doing the little things right, base hits up the middle, scoring runs, moving runners. It was a good day, a good team win for sure. And do you feel that this game perhaps sent a message to the rest of the opponents that you may face that as good as your team is between the freshmen and even how your pinch hitters came off the bench and were scoring and hitting the ball that your team can really make a push no matter who you play? Yeah, 100 um, percent. That was a huge team win. Um, the dugout was crazy today. I'm going to give them mad props because they were going off in the dugout. It was such a special game. Um, 
everyone contributed in their own special way. And we were really one strong United team. And I think that was one of the best ways to end my career here at Rita. Um, we have still have so much more to go. I'm so excited to get out to Arkansas and really show them what we're made of.